Hello everyone, I am Priyanka Shah and welcome to my YouTube channel Mathalite. In this video, we are going to start with the second exercise of rational and irrational numbers. So let's begin with the first question. State whether the following numbers are rational or not. You have to identify whether the numbers are rational or irrational. You are given few identities over here. You need to solve them and check whether the number you are getting is rational or not. So let's begin with the first identity. First identity is 2 plus root 2 the whole square. Now this is of the form a plus b the whole square. So a plus b the whole square on expansion gives a square plus 2ab plus b square. So applying it over here, a over here is 2. So 2 ka square plus 2ab. So 2 into a over here is 2. p over here is root 2 plus b square. That is root 2 square. Now in the next step 2 square will become 4. 2 into 2 gives 4 into root 2. Please do not take 4 and multiply it with root 2 and make it root 8 or something like that. You cannot multiply the outside number with the root like that. Okay. So the root will remain separate that is 4 root 2 rahega. Don't take the 4 inside and make it root 8. Okay. If it, go, if it goes inside it is going to become a square. So 4 root 2 root 2 square now whenever you have square root and a square they cancel out each other okay so square of a square root is actually the number itself nahi wo square hoga nahi wo root hoga so it is going to be 2 now i'll add 4 with 2 so it gives me 6 plus 4 root 2 you cannot add 4 root 2 to 4 or 2 or with 2 Okay, because over here you don't have square root of 2. So you cannot add the numbers. So please keep that in mind. So my final answer is 6 plus 4 root 2. Now 6 plus 4 root 2. Root 2 is an irrational number. So when I add 6 with this number, it is going to give me irrational number. Okay, non-terminating aega, non-recurring aega. So this is an irrational number. Therefore, 6 plus 4 root 2 is an irrational or you can directly write it as it is an irrational number. Moving on to the second identity. Second identity is 3 minus root 3 the whole square. Now this is of the form a minus b the whole square. So a minus b the whole square on expansion gives a square minus 2ab plus b square. So let's apply it over here. 3 square ho jayega. That is a square minus because over here I have minus. 2ab that is 2 into 3 into root 3 plus b square so root 3 square now we'll open the brackets 3 square ho jayega 9 minus 2 into 3 gives 6 root 3 that is 6 into root 3 plus root 3 square square of the root of a number square bhi nahi hota root bhi nahi hota dono vanish ho jate hai. so i have 3 over here 9 plus 3 gives 12 minus 6 root 3 12 is a rational number but 6 root 3 is an irrational number i am having root 3 over here so the whole identity the whole number is going to be irrational therefore 
I write it is an irrational number. Moving on to the third identity, phi plus root phi into phi minus root phi. This is of the form a plus b into a minus b. So a plus b into a minus b is a square minus b square. So I'll apply this over here. So a plus b into a minus b. It will be a square that is 5 square minus b square that is root 5 ka square. 5 square is 25 and root 5 square is going to give 5. Square of the root of a number square and root dono vanish ho jate hai. So only the number remains. So I have 20 as the answer. My answer is 20. Now 20 is a rational number. Okay. There are no roots of rational numbers over here. So this is a pure rational number. Here I can write it in the form of fraction which is satisfying the criteria. Therefore, it is a rational number. Moving on to the fourth identity, root 3 minus root 2 the whole square. This is again of the form a minus b the whole square. We know a minus b the whole square is a square minus 2ab plus b square. So let's expand this. I'll get root 3 the whole square minus 2 into root 3 into root 2 plus root 2 the whole square. I'll get over here square of the square root of the number. So it is going to remain as it is minus 2 into square root of 3 into square root of 2. Dono square root here. So I can take a common root over here and multiply the number. So 2 will remain as it is square root 3 into 2. It will give 6. Whenever you have same power to so hum log common root leke usko multiply kar sakte hai, numbers ko multiply kar sakte hai. so that is why i have taken common root over here and i have multiplied 3 and 2 which gave 6 plus square of the square root of 2 so the number will remain as it is again i won't add this to any of these numbers i cannot add it 2 and 3 it gives 5 minus 2 root 6. Again over here I am having an irrational number. I am having root of a number. Okay, just ka value aega irrational. So the number over here is irrational. Let's check the fifth number. It's 3 by 2 root to the whole square. I don't have any identity to solve over here. So I'll directly square the numerator and denominator. 3 square upon 2 root 2 square. 3 square gives 9. Now I have to square 2 also and root 2 also. So let me write it in individually. 2 ka square and square root 2 ka square. This gives 9 by 2 ka square gives 4 into square root of 2 ka square. Square of a square root gives the number itself. Okay. Dono cancel out ho jate hai. So 9 by 8 is the 
answer this is of the form of a fraction that is p by q where both are integers and denominator is not equal to 0 therefore it is a rational number moving on to the last part of the question square root of 7 upon 6 square root of 2 the whole square again i don't have any identities to solve over here i'll directly square so square root of 7 the square upon 6 square into square root of 2 ka square square of the square root of a number it will give the number itself 7 upon 6 ka square gives 36 into square of the square root of a number 2 ajayega it gives 7 upon 36 into 2 which is 72 so this is of the form of fraction p by q where q is not equal to 0 and both are integers therefore it is a rational number